Of course we have one who can see. Ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and speak to all of our clients, whether it be the Eon Foundations, that program, and Secure and One's Property Program, or Amira Legion, AMCF, and the other programs that we offer. Each of you will be receiving an email that will contain a communication and a report that needs to be filled out and notarized. Trust me when I say you're going to want to complete this. This is up to you. You don't have to, but trust me when I say you're going to want to complete that information. Everything that you need to know is detailed in the communication. I cannot on this video reveal what we're doing in the background, but please trust me when I say that the process is, let's just say nobody's done it this way. And I'm going to point out a couple of things to you guys, and then I'm going to cut this video short because I just finished uh, a marathon of a day. The courts have consistently held that disclosure of consumers' private information, including social security numbers, by various entities, including the data mining corporations, without the consumer's consent, violates federal privacy laws. And these cases I verified. Okay? You can verify. I'm going to go slow so that you can just type it on in there, or you can do your own research on the subject. A credit reporting agency's disclosure of your private information including your social security number, to any unauthorized party violates the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that if you write the credit reporting agencies, tell them that you're disputing the debt, they cannot reveal your social security number to the so-called creditor? Technically, the so-called creditor is already supposed to have that information. But if they are not the original creditor, do you know that the original creditor does, does not have the authority to give your social security number to another party? Even if they sell the debt, they don't have the authority to sell your information unless you sign one of those contracts. Pay attention, there are a lot of contracts out there that you give total power of attorney. That's why you gotta do some rescission. Don't worry about it. For our clients, we're taking care of that. All right, a creditor's disclosure of a consumer's private information, including the social security number, to a debt collector without, pay attention, without the consumer's consent violates the FCRA. So even if they sell your debt to a debt collector, Pay attention. They're not allowed to give your social security number to anyone. Okay. Social security number, you shared it with the original person for getting the loan, but you never gave them authorization to give you a social security number. Go back and take a look at your contract. You never gave them permission to share your private information. Now, it, you guys may not understand, but did you know that your physical address is private, not public? Yeah, the, the address may be owned by the county, but your living there is private information. That's household goods, consumer goods, not for profit, not for gain, not for commercial use, but for consumer use. Pay attention. So some of you guys are gonna get some ideas from this, but you're not gonna get the major idea. First, I was gonna show you what I discovered this morning, but I decided not to share that with the world. Why? Because we have clients that literally come first, and this time they are coming first. So. As of tomorrow, today is the 4th of April. As of tomorrow, the DAP program, the DAP program, the debt uh, acknowledgement program, the Eon Foundation's DAP program, and the Eon Foundation's Secure in One's Property program. All of you who gave limited power of attorney, we will be contacting the credit reporting bureaus on your behalf. We've already contacted them. We've sent them your entire file. Why? Well, because we wanted to let them know that we have proof that there's no outstanding debt. And so now they're going to get the entire file again. But there is a special little letter, communication, three-page letter that's being sent to them documenting some facts. Eventually, I'll reveal the information. But for right now, sorry, folks, can't do it. Just won't do it. Wouldn't be prudent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another five minutes is an update for all of our clients. Have a good day. We'll speak to you soon.